Ryan Salazar here with Broadcast Speed and Broadcast Asia. We have Tommaso. How you doing, sir? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So you're with Meta Liquid. Tell, yeah. tell me what you do. We do basically AI-based uh, video analysis. Um, and this is offered to broadcasters and media companies to extract value from their content. So we process contents and extract information regarding who's in the content. Um, for example, faces, brands, uh, sport actions, sport content. We distinguish what kind of content they're streaming. So is it sports content news, uh, live shows, uh, movies, TV series. Uh, we offer services like the recognition of opening and closing credits to enable binge watching functionalities, for example. So if you want to skip to the following episode of your favorite TV series, you can just push the button and you'll just get to the next content, next episode. Um, and this kind of services. So basically, metadata, descriptive metadata, time coded. So. Okay, so what's exciting, what's really cool is a lot of times when you think of AI and television right now, in the, fr in the from the broadcast industry perspective, you think of AI to maybe for voice recognition and things like that, mm -hmm. to transcode and to, or to, to create text, you know, yeah. for, for subtitling or whatever. Uh, so this is an exciting uh, twist on that, right? It's a different type of AI being used in broadcast. Yeah, it basically uses visual information and you can use this to basically know what's in the content, which is something that broadcasters don't actually know now, or to offer new experiences because by knowing what's actually in a content, you could, for example, ask, well, I'm a user, I want to know who's actually now in the scene. Right. I can ask the, 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 the player, the OTT platform, who's in there and receive related content. So it's a more an engaging way to interact with content and OTT platforms and it's new user experiences also not only asset management and technical services which are very important but it's not the only application Excellent. So lastly, uh, in order to recognize these people or these brands, obviously you have to load these things into the system, right? Yeah, we build data sets. We have our own deep learning framework and our proprietary data sets. And we have some tools which automate the process to extend the range of like faces that we do recognize. Got it. So so your, what you've already put into the system for recognizing will benefit your clients right off Absolutely. the bat. Absolutely. We have, let's say we have a starting um, Database. Yeah, database right. of face that we do recognize. And then if we go, for example, to Norway, we can extend the range to Norway, Norwegian celebrities or politicians or all the kind of faces that are famous or interesting for that kind of uh, public or broadcaster. Excellent. All right, Tommaso Cesano yep. from uh, Meta Liquid here at the 2018 Broadcast Asia Show. Thank you so much. Good luck. And you, you guys have a very exciting technology. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.